Today I'm going to try and modify the Sphero BB-8. Now when I first got this, the only thing I was really disappointed in is that the sound did not come from the BB-8 itself. So what I've gone ahead and done is I have an extra BB-8 head and a smartwatch that I used in a previous video, Don't Look Behind You. I'm going to actually try to put this smartwatch inside of the BB-8 head so I can then pump the sound from the phone to the head and the sound will come from the BB-8 itself. For starters, I've gone ahead and paired both devices to, to the phone so I can control the BB-8. And all sound is actually coming from the smartwatch. I've also gone ahead and opened up the actual head and removed a lot of the contents inside. Now, I don't think this is going to be big enough. Uh, it all depends on how big the motherboard is inside the smartwatch. Also, the other thing to keep in, in mind is the magnets inside the headpiece. Not really sure how much this is actually going to affect the actual circuitry of the smartwatch. So that's going to be interesting to see as well. Now, this does have a little notch where it looks like the plate can get peeled off. Now, most of these are just adhesive glue. So we'll see if we have any screws inside. Okay, so we do have four small screws in here. As you can see, we do have a battery, we do have a speaker, then it's got the board, the charger. So this is gonna be, and the screen, wow, okay. So let's see how easily this ball pops out here. So me messing with it is touching the button quite a bit. Actually, that looks like the screen adapter, so I should be able to just pop the screen right off. Or unplug the screen. That would, that would be very helpful. That could also be the touch screen sensor, though. down these wires too because they do not seem very well soldered to the board. Okay, looks like it's actually coming out. Okay, so that looks like, okay, so that is taped to the screen it looks like. Oh wow, okay, here we go. Alright, so this adapter was actually for the touch screen. Back plate, not sure why they put a metal plate at the bottom. Okay, so we have battery, speaker, microphone. Okay. Now before we go any further, I wanna make sure that it's still connected. Otherwise we're not gonna have a Bluetooth speaker. delayed sound but it's still working looks like I'll be able to get the battery and everything in there but it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to get that screen in there which means I either need to desolder or just rip off the screen which is going to be kind of sad because then I can't really see it and control it. One thing I could do is I could just make the screen the head if it could display something really nice, but I do want to keep BB-8's head on top. So, time to rip that off. Let's 
Still making sound, so I know it's on. Awesome. And put a piece of electrical tape over that. In case there's any micro leads that can cross over, touch, and turn off the device. Okay, so far we're in pretty good shape here. Still making sound. Awesome. No touch screen to mess it up early. The wires to stay. Okay, let's see if we can shove it in this head here. Not sure how well this is going to work. better than I expected. Okay, so it does fit in the head, but that board is right on the very bottom. So the downside to that is the second I attach this, as you can see this is raised up, that's how it's going to look. just a little head mod so all right so a couple different things I got to test here one can I still rotate the head two is the sound still coming out three can I actually still drive it with this thing because even though this is very light there's still added weight compared to this head so the cal so the calibration may be off so we need to test all these things here. So, successful test. The sound does come out of the BB-8 head using the $7 smartwatch motherboard. Now, I'm sure you can get other smartwatches that are small enough to get inside of here. However, this is what I had available to me right here, right now, so I figured I'd give it a try. Um, some downsides, yes, you can still drive the BB-8 with this mod, but even the little extra weight that this adds to it, it's a little harder to drive it depending on the surface. Um, also, the magnets inside, I don't know if the smartwatch has enough protection or 
if that those magnets are going to affect the battery eventually. So this may not last that long. This may last a couple weeks, depending on how much the magnets are affecting the electronics. Um, however, there's electronics inside of the BB-8, so I don't know if there's enough spacing or how they how they figured it out. But you may want to think about some type of shielding between the electronics in that, that you're putting in the head and the magnets on the wheels. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to post them below. If you like this video, please feel free to like, subscribe, and share. And until next time, have a great one.